Have you ever opened the book and you just get drawn to the smell of that book, you know, especially old books? Ardent readers will know what I'm talking about. You know, you're just lost in the sweet, tangling smell of the book. Hello and welcome to The Muse. My name is Peace Adeniro. How are you today? The Muse is that show where we review books, of course, and then we allow authors, poets, and writers to let us into their creative imagination. If you have not followed us yet on our social media platforms, you can do so right now. Follow us across all social media platforms on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter at High Impact TV and High Impact TV UK. The book in review today is titled The Book of April, written by Yeni Emmanuel. And I already said it is a very interesting book. So right about now, I will be reading excerpt from the book. I'm reading from chapter 7 here. The title is Blush. I had been very unfortunate in my love relationships and could not comprehend what the problem was. No matter how much I tried, the relationships just did not work. It was either because I already had a child or was termed to kumbo second hand since I had been previously married. So, I was always in awe of single mothers who got married either to single men that had never been married or divorcees. I wondered where the women met the men in the first instance. It seemed I was never in the right social circles. The author of the book of April joining me in the studio. Well, she is here. Her name is Yeni Emmanuel. How are you today, Yeni? Very well, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The book of April, uh, what inspired this book? Uh, well, um, I've always enjoyed writing mm -hmm. and um, it got to a stage where I felt I I wanted to write something that would inspire people. Okay, so sometimes if you look at um, the life of April, you'd see first that she's a single Mom, parent. Yes. Okay, and um, sometimes in life when you have responsibilities or you have dependents, you can't just take drastic decisions. Mm. Coming to our society now, we know that uh, people have a lot of perception about single moms. You know, they go through a, a lot of things because the general notion is that once someone, once a typical African, for example, sees a single mom, that means the person is promiscuous. The person is too randy or too adulterous as it were to stay in a man's house, not bothering, you know, knowing the backstory of the whole situation. So what do you say to people who stigmatize single moms? Well, um, unfortunately, that's... Um that's a problem in this society and it's here to stay. When I say mm -hmm. it's here to stay, you can't help the fact that there will always be single mothers. Single mothers can be as a result of death of a spouse oh, yeah. or a divorce or maybe a, a, a mistake or, or, or something happened, you know. So it's, um, it usually comes from um, a lot of women. We find women, especially um, women who are married, you you find married women who tend to look down on people on single, on single mothers, mothers. Or even single ladies. Yes, you you have situations where even when they have children, you they are scared that oh because she's a single mother, she might not train her child properly mm. or you know like the, what they say about broken homes, mm -hmm. but that doesn't that's not the case. I'm so excited because, <laughs> you know, I always love games. So, I still have Yeni Manuel in the studio with me anyway. So, pick up your mail. You have a mail from the Muse. What does this mean? Bull in a china shop. In something destructive in a, like, in a delicate situation. Is that your final <laughs> answer? That's my final answer. <laughs> right, third question. Oh, my. Riddles. What room do ghosts avoid? 